As long as short-term rental businesses continue to thrive and gain recognition from the public, so are fraud and scam. With the advancing of technology, people can now easily manipulate data online and, of course, perceptions of innocent customers. But the good thing here is, businesses have grown and adapted to these episodes of extortion to protect their company and establish a dependable process that customers can use with confidence before and after their stay. But how can hosts handle these fraud reservations? There are different ways to check if a certain inquiry is a sham. Checking every site is too much of a hassle on your end. So here are some essential tips that you can apply to your existing routine so you can avoid con games on your online listings. First is to constitute policies for your property. You can create a house manual that guests should agree on before proceeding to the next step of the booking process. You can elaborate on your house rules. If there's a specific time where noise should be minimized to respect the neighborhood, if smoking is permitted, if one can bring an extra guest, and so on and so forth. This is to allow the guests to assess if your property fits their needs for their business work or small travel. If your property allows pets, be sure to set up rules. Emphasize the do's and don'ts and let them know of any extra fees. Give your guests a head up about it to avoid any miscommunication along the way. Secondly, survey every potential guest. This may sound like an over-exaggeration, but this rule is true from every angle. Verifying whether or not the guest has given you the right information and identity is vital for you to let them in your home. This includes legal name and address, government-issued ID, and positive reviews from previous hosts. Airbnb has a database that collects the guest's information using secure encryption. This is to ensure that all information is safe from malicious malware and viruses developed by hackers who wish to use these data for fraudulent intents. Never use an alternative payment method. Any action taken outside of the Airbnb platform will be a breach of terms of service and Airbnb may not be able to help you properly. That's why it's essential to utilize Airbnb's secured payment method, and it's an absolute guarantee that every transaction that you make with your guest is protected. Airbnb is aware of any disputes happen, and you can show proof using the messaging inbox on the platform. Both sides will be given a chance to present proof, and after that, the Airbnb resolution team will decide the best solution to solve the issue. Do not entertain the guest's inquiry off-site. This rule goes hand in hand with rule number three. Never do transactions outside of the website or application, even if your guest requests it. This includes sending off check-in instructions or other integral information about your property. The moment your guest insists on taking the conversation elsewhere, it's advisable to stop communicating with that guest as long as you haven't released any information that would give them access to your property. And lastly, always read the reviews. Whenever a guest checks out from a vacation rental, the host can leave a positive, general, or negative review based on the guest's cleanliness, courteousness, and communication. It will be displayed on the guest's profile, so you can take some time reading each review and you can start assessing from there. You can gauge what type of guests you're accommodating based on their reviews from past feedback written by hosts. Guests can also review hosts, but with different criteria. You can also ask the guest through the app inbox if you have any questions regarding their identity or the purpose of why they want to rent your place. It's not every day that you will receive a fraudulent inquiry, but when the day comes, these rules will be your guide to assess any suspicious actions and you can always seek help from Airbnb support as they are available 24-7. How did you like this video? Comment down below if you have any suggestions and it would be much appreciated. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to get more tips and tricks on short-term renting. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next episode.